Hey there. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can migrate your website from one host to another with the help of plugin called Backup Buddy. We are going to use the feature of Import Buddy and make use of the backup file to move our current WordPress to another server. So go to the Backup Buddy tab, click on Backup. Okay, then you will be presented with the option choose a backup type, database only, or complete backup. When you are migrating your WordPress site, you have to choose complete backup. So click on it. It will take a few moments. So it will check for settings then database and then exported files will be there our files will be compressed and zip of that file will be created and then we can download it Okay, so you have your backup file. My archive size is now 61 MB, and all I have to do is just download this archive. Okay, while well, I do that, I'm going to change the setting as well. Okay, for import buddy, you have to type some passwords so that it can go to the specific file and check for the password so in case of import file you need to have a password let's add password like um, backup1234 if you do forget the password of import buddy and repair buddy you can change the setting from here just save the file ok now settings are saved and our backup zip is also here all I have to do is go there and search So here it is, backup file, all I have to do is now go to my server via FTP and then get inside the folder where I want to have it hosted and then just paste the content. Ok, so my zip is now here. Now one more thing to do here is we have to also download import buddy php file what this php file will do is it will point our backup file when we migrate from a new server so just click on this button and import buddy php be ready for you I'm going to search here. Just cut and paste. Now I have it on my server folder. 
Now, when you are doing production level transfer of WordPress website, you need to also do the name server changes so that it points to our new location. So let's see our new location is WP2 and import buddy dot php okay so our options are here now it is asking us for the password password is backup1234 let's authenticate okay now our option here is already selected for the local backup zip is found here now we can call the next step okay now our zip is extracted however before we go forward for installation we need to create a database so i will go for php my admin okay on that I will now I'm going to create a new database let's just name it WP2 should be UTF-8 so if you choose UTF-8 Unicode CI then you won't have much of a conflict and after that go for the backup file execution third step is our URL to WordPress then okay so just make sure that uh, you change the name of this database and after that hit for the next step when you go for the next step by adding our new database name and database user and his password you will be presented with this screen where your installation for the wordpress is going on only two steps remain which are on for cleaning up will take time based on your database size you have a decent size and it shouldn't take much of a time now you see that our process is complete and we can go for the next step now we will have our backup buddy data clean on this part of the Okay, so our servers this side is cleaned up, our site is ready to use and migration is complete. Okay, so my entire website looks just great. Okay. So this is how the migration is done and for the record i didn't cover name server changes because they would be different for each site and you are doing website migration from let's say uh, one part of the same server to another and this tutorial already show you how to do that uh, in case of s change of server just make sure that you're changing your name server and that way you will be able to see your old site live made on the new one i hope that this tutorial helped and i will see you in the next tutorial thank you